Hey everyone, so welcome back. Today I just want to show you one of the latest features I got in my engine, which is basically shader hot reloading, which basically means you can reload and recompile your shaders meanwhile in engine without getting out of the engine. All right, so let's, let's have a quick look uh, how it works. So we have a new menu bar, which is sh the shader compiler. What I can do is I can filter it's a fuzzy search, so in this case I want to debug or change the shader for debugging the depth, right? So if I just search for depth, we see we have a depth buffer debug pixel shader. So that's the one I want to uh, recompile. So if I go in here in the depth, we see we have a shader which basically shown screen the depth. And this is the shader here we see on the left. So what we can do is, for example, all right, let's Let's move this around, right? So we have the depth now in the green channel. If I go ahead and recompile, we see that it recompiled successfully and is now on, on the next depth or, sorry, on the, on the right channel. We can add, there we go, right? So, and we can move forward with that. So what is happening here is that under the hood, the engine is keeping some, it's tracking the, the shaders because in the X12 is not enough to just recompile the shader because then the shader is used um, in a pipeline state object which is a combination of the whole state pixel shader, fragment shader and whatever other shader you have so if you see in this case I'm also recompiled the vertex shader it's not necessarily neat but basically I recompile the old PSO clean and we can see that we see the log here if I want to recompile a shader which is used on many PSO all the PSO affected will be automatically recompiled properly. So not just the one I'm using here, which is really nice. And it's also it's quite solid. So for example, let's let's make an error. Let's make, actually make a proper error. So let's initialize a float for only with three values and we try to recompile. We actually get a compiler error. So in this case, too few elements in vector initialization. So this is because I'm directly linking against the new compiler, the XC compiler, using shader model 6. So whatever error I get, I can just get it and show it in the console. And of course, I'm not crashing because I only replace and free resources when I have a successful, successful compilation, right? So if we go back, recompile, now it's all set. So this is a big improvement for... Um, for the productivity. So when I'm working specifically just on a shader, not on the plumbing of the DX11, you can just go and recompile without getting out of the engine. Even though the engine bootstrap quite quickly, as you saw previously, it's still, it's still a nice feature that I always wanted and never had. All right, as usual, if you want to uh, keep up to date to the engine uh, I'm writing, just subscribe, share the video, it really helps. See you in the next video.